this week we're back in Europa League action with a trip to Norway to face Mulder. In this video I preview that match. Hello, my name is Richard. Welcome back to my channel over and over and over again, the Positive Arsenal channel. Um, in this video, I'm going to look ahead to uh, this week's Europa League match away at Mulder, our fourth group game of the season so far. Um, just before I do that, so make sure that you are subscribing to my channel. If you like what I do, please click on the subscribe button down in the corner there. If you uh, enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up as well. And if you've got any comments at all about the Mulder game, about how the season's going so far, anything at all to do with Arsenal, please drop them in the comments box because I do love to hear from you guys as well. So this will only be the second ever meeting between Arsenal and Mulder. Of course, the previous meeting was a couple of weeks ago back at the Emirates Stadium. Uh, the Norwegians actually gave a really good account of themselves in that game for about an hour or so. They did lead 1-0 at one stage. Um, and in the end, it was, it was two own goals either side of half time that put us into the lead. And then we finally finished it off in the closing stages with goals from Nicola Pepe and Joe Willock. Um, this will only be our second ever um, European trip into Norway. The previous one was in 2004 when we drew 1-1 with Rosenborg and that was in the Champions League, of course. Um, I know it seems a long time ago, but we did used to play in the Champions League quite a lot. So there's not much history really be between the two sides. Of course, as I mentioned in my uh, preview video uh, when we played Mould, of course, a couple of weeks ago. Um, Oli Gunnar Solskjaer, of course, was their manager for a number of years um, and was quite successful there, won a few trophies as well. There's not really much else I can add to, to the previous video, really, in, in terms of the Norwegian side. And so let's just hope that we can continue a good run in the Europa League this season. Yeah, the, the starting lineup is going to be quite interesting, isn't it? We seem to have quite a few injury problems at the moment. Thomas Partey still out. Mohamed El Nenny and, and Saeed Klesnets, both of whom may well played in this game, are still self isolating um, after testing positive for COVID. And of course, Bukayo Saka suffered an injury, didn't he, at the very end of the game at Leeds at the weekend. So, um, certainly numbers wise, we're looking a little bit thin on the ground. It's just going to be the opportunity to give a few of the younger players an opportunity. Bearing in mind, we're playing on Thursday in Norway and then we're playing Sunday again in the in the Premier League, a really important game against Wolves. So I wouldn't be surprised at all to see a few more younger players in this side. In terms of in goal, Arteta has already said that Leno is his number one for the Europa League. I know Renarsson got a game, didn't he, against uh, Dundalk a few weeks ago, but uh, I expect Bert Leno to play in this game. He had a good game, didn't he, at Leeds. Looked like he's getting back to his best, so maybe keeping him playing is probably a good idea at this moment in time. So I think Bert Leno will start in goal. Will Arteta stick with the back four that he, he played at Leeds or will he go back to the three at the back system? I personally think he might go with a back four. A lot of it's going to depend on, on the fitness and availability of players. David Luiz may well be back. Of course, his, uh, his wife had a baby um, at the weekend, which meant he couldn't play at Leeds. But he may well be back um, for this game. If he is, then I'll put him straight in the team, maybe alongside Rob Holding, give Gabriel a rest. He's played a lot of football, hasn't he, this season, Gabriel? Um, important player for us, but maybe give him a rest in this particular game. Um, I'm not sure how fit um, Pablo Mari is, whether, whether he's ready to come back in for a game. Callum Chambers as well, they could be options. But I think maybe David Luiz and Rob Holding could well be the part partnership we see here. In terms of the fullback position, I mean, the left back now is uh, without Saeed Kolesnets as a cover. Um, do we really want to risk Kieran Tierney? Um, he's such an important player for us. Do we want to play him in this game? Um, maybe mate, a AD Maitland-Niles can play there, couldn't they, I suppose. Um, at right back, I think um, Cedric Suarez will probably get a game. He's not been playing much, has he? And um, he probably needs need some minutes in his leg, so I would be tempted to put him there. Uh, midfield, again, we seem quite short on numbers. Joe Willock, of course, has done really well in the Europa League this season, so maybe it's a chance for him to get himself more of a regular start. Of course, he started at Leeds at the weekend. Didn't play that well, but I think he needs a run of games. He played well, obviously, in the previous game against Molder, so that's a good option in midfield. Um, maybe Sabayos or Xhaka again, just because of the lack of options, really. Maybe Emil Smith-Rowe possibly could get a start as well. Uh, he's been playing for the under-23s. I think he's fit again. That's another option. A young player who's done well in the Europa League, of course, previous season, so... Um, there's an option there as well, so we'll see what happens there. Uh, and in terms of the uh, the attacking side of the team, um, I think Eddie Nketi is almost guaranteed to start, isn't he? He's got a couple of goals in the Europa League um, and he didn't play at all at the weekend. So I think Eddie Nketi will start. Who's going to be around him? The Pepe situation is quite interesting. Obviously, his suspension's only in the Premier League, so he's available to play in this game. 
But will Arteta pick him or as part of his punishment for, for what he did on Sunday I mean he's going to leave him out of the side for a while? You never know with Arteta, do you? But if he's available and, and Arteta wants to pick him up, I'm assuming Nicolas Pepe will start. He's got two goals in the Europa League as well this season. I'm not sure who else he's going to start up front without, without um, Saka. Martinelli's he's not ready to play. Maybe Balogun might get a game and then Ketia. That could be a good front three, couldn't it? Something a bit different. So it's quite difficult to predict this starting lineup. Um, there may be a few more of the younger players get a, get a game. We'll have to see. But it's, it's, it's quite an important game for Arsenal, isn't it? When you when you look at it, um, if we win this game, we're guaranteed to go through and win the group. So let's get that done nice and early. Then we can put this competition to bed until the knockout stage um, in the new year. So it's a big game for Arsenal. Let's get the, let's get the job done. But I think it might be a much changed... Um, younger side. So a score prediction then, um, without knowing really what sort of team we're going to be putting out in this game, it's quite difficult to predict. I thought Mulder played really well at the Emirates a couple of weeks ago, certainly for a large chunk of that game. So I don't think it's going to be an easy game at all. Um, it might be a similar game actually to when we played away in Rapid Vienna to open this Europa League campaign. We had to come from behind in that game. But I think it's going to be a, a difficult game for us. I mean, it just depends, I say, on the sort of side that we put out. If you've got a lot of experienced players in there, um, then I think we'll win. If he plays a few more of the younger players, and it may be a little bit more of a struggle because I say Mulder are a good side um, and they, they kid did cause us problems last time. So, um, But looking at it overall, um, I'm expecting Arsenal to win. I think it's going to be a tight game. I think it's going to be competitive. Um, but I think we should just shade it um, 2-1. So that's up there then, a little uh, preview of the uh, the Mulder game in the Europa League this week. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments, uh, what your starting team would be, what you think the starting team will be, and your score predictions as well. Um, it is quite an important game, actually, because uh, the quicker we get this Europa League done and dusted, the group stage, then the quicker we can put that to one side and we can start looking forward to what's going to be a, a series of tough games in the, in the Premier League coming up to Christmas. And of course, we've got a Carabao Cup quarter-final as well, haven't we, um, in a few weeks' time against Manchester City. So that's a competition that we, we could do really well in this season. So um, lots lots of other stuff coming up. So I think the Europa League, we, we've done well so far. Three wins out of three. Let's make it four. Let's qualify. Let's get through. Win the group. Then we can maybe experiment in the last two games, play some really younger players um, with, without no pressure on us. So it is an important game. Uh, let's hope we can win. Uh, I think we need to, to start getting a little bit of momentum. So far, it hasn't worked, has it? We're winning our Europa League games and then we're struggling in the Premier League at the weekend. And obviously, it's a big game as well on Sunday, which I'll be previewing um, on this channel in a couple of days' time. But yeah, it's a big game. But let me know, let me know your thoughts. Are we going to win this game? Are we going to play a strong team? You know, are people like Aubameyang going to play? Um, really go for it. I don't know. We'll see. So stay tuned to the channel. Lots coming on. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe down in the corner there. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Um, and of course, in the meantime, going into uh, another big week for football for Arsenal come on you gunners